every time you go to sleep, there could be thousands of these thirsty critters sucking your blood, growing and growing. And yes, they will kill you if you let them. So you need to watch this. Here's how to survive bed bugs. These little suckers are only the size of an apple seed, but each one eats up to three times its weight from your blood. And they are almost everywhere. Up to a tenth of an average pillow's weight is not fluffy feathers, but bloodthirsty bed bugs. In the past decade, bed bug infestations have increased in high income countries like the United States, Canada, and Europe. And they hide so well that you don't notice them until it's too late. So you might want to look under your mattress. But how do they get into your house? How much blood can they drink? And what are the early signs of infestation? Step one, keep your luggage off the bed. Even if you're a spotlessly clean person, the bed bugs only need you to sleep in a hotel or unpack your luggage on the bed and they can jump into it, enter your house and infest it. But you can avoid this. When you're traveling, do not put your luggage on the bed and wash your clothes immediately when you return home. Step two, look for the signs. Some of the first signs of infestation can be dark or rusty spots on your mattress and pillows. Also look for the small feces that bed bugs may shed in the corners of your bedroom, under the rugs, or carpet. Yes, my friend, those little poop balls were once your blood. And if you notice any of these signs, you cannot just take it easy. In 2016, a woman in Pennsylvania died of sepsis due to a bed bug infestation in the care facility she lived in. So look carefully. Step three, call the pros. Using common pesticides on bed bugs will only make things worse. They are evolving and can resist many pest control chemicals. So you'd only kill a few of them and the rest will scatter over other furniture and fabrics all over your home. Each female bed bug can lay five eggs a day and hundreds of eggs in her lifetime. And four to 12 days later, her babies hatch and they're thirsty. So you need to call pest control experts to get rid of them. They know how to treat these suckers. Step four, spread the word. If you call a professional, make sure everyone in the building knows the pros are coming. In 2017, an 82-year-old woman in Houston died after her apartment building's owner called in pest control experts without telling her. The experts heated her apartment to over 60 degrees Celsius to kill the bed bugs, but they did not tell the lady how long she had to stay away from her apartment. She came back too soon and died of hyperthermia. So call in the professionals and make sure everyone in the building knows when they're coming and what to do. Step five get help. A severe bed bug infestation can be extremely distressing and you may need help coping with it. In 2013, a woman committed suicide after repeated infestations in her apartment. In her suicide note, she directly blamed the vampires and her fear of being eaten alive. If you experience nightmares, flashbacks, and anxiety even after an infestation, seek professional help to cope with it. But if you think those were bad, wait until you see what these other tiny creatures can do. Find out here on how to survive a tick bite.